So that is the exclusive conversation that India Today's Nagarjun Dwarkanath had with Home Minister Amit Shah during his colorful campaign in Hassan. We're getting you those live images. He is currently in Sakleshpura of uh, Hassan district. The BJP knows that they have their task cut out in this particular region, the old Mysuru region, considering at this point uh, the BJP has been trying hard to woo the Vokaliga vote. So they will be hoping that in the old Mysuru region they make some gains for which campaigns like this are extremely crucial. Nagarjun Dwarkanath is joining us live with more details on this. Nagarjun, you had a conversation with Home Minister Amit Shah. The BJP as expected exuding confidence that this time the old Mysuru region will go their way. Tough task ahead for the BJP, no doubt. Easier said than done. But that's a strategic uh, decision that the BJP has taken that Old Mysore region bastion will be broken by the BJP this time. Uh, hence, the Home Minister has campaigned this morning in uh, Chamrajnagar, now Hassan, the second Old Mysore region. Last time, uh, this same seat, Sakleshpur Assembly constituency, the BJP had lost within the margin of 5,000 votes. And hence, the Home Minister feels that him putting his uh, effort here and the party putting its effort, this time they can turn the, uh, the uh, verdict in favor of the candidate uh, because it was a closely contested candidate. The sitting MLA right now is uh, from a JDS party. He's been a five-time, six-time MLA and there's anti incumbency is what BJP feels. There's fatigue in the minds of voters and this always is a three-way fight. The Congress, JDS, BJP equally have strong foothold and hence the JDS is winning is what the BJP war room feels that because of the three-way fight, it's always plus JDS. The advantage is with the JDS. Now, if the, uh, the BJP going very aggressively, they feel that the JDS and the Congress will be number two, number three. The three-way fight will benefit uh, the BJP. Now, we have already seen in 2018 what has happened. The result, within the margin of 5,000 votes, the BJP candidate had lost in Sakleshpur constituency. And now, with a union home minister coming here to the same constant, he feels that he can change the poll verdict very soon after putting in some effort here. Why is it, Nagarjun, that the BJP believes that the old Mysuru region this time is a make or break fight for them? Why is it that they're banking on this region where they haven't essentially, this isn't their stronghold, the Lingayat areas of Karnataka and several other parts of Karnataka is their stronghold? Why is it this time they're forced to focus on this region and hope to get some sort of foothold? Actually, it's just a simple arithmetic, right? They are not able to cross the 113 margin since the time they have come to the election forefront since 2004, 2006 mm. and uh, later on. Unless they have certain MLA selected or elected from the old Mysore region, they are unable to breach the 113 mark. Uh, when they did their best in 2008, they were 110. Still, they could not reach uh, the halfway mark. They have done well in coastal Karnataka, Mumbai Karnataka, Hyderabad Karnataka. The only vacuum that they can find is the Mysore region. And hence, this time they feel even 10 seats in this region will be a big bonus for the party. So that crossing the 113 margin will be not a Herculean task, but still an easy method. If they just get 10 seats, 10 good seats is good enough because they already have a strong foothold in Hyderabad Karnataka and Northern Karnataka. And in the old Mysuru region where Amit Shah currently is, these are the pictures that we're getting to you right now from Hassan. Earlier this morning he was also at the Chamundeshwari temple, offered his prayers there and now holding this mega roadshow. The BJP will be banking on more of these kind of images. They will be banking on their big wigs, whether it's Prime Minister Modi, Home Minister Amit Shah, or all the other star campaigners they have to really create an impact, create a dent for them in the old Mysuru region for reasons, as Nagarjun explained, uh, you've got the BJP counting on getting a handful of seats here and thereby their arithmetic really works up and in case there is an anti-incumbency factor in other seats, they're hoping it will kind of uh, level up with some seats in the old Mysuru region. But it is difficult also because of the caste factor, uh, Nagarjun. In the old Mysuru region is the Vokaligas who are there in large numbers. The Vokaligas always traditionally have gone for the JDS. The Congress has managed to make inroads within this caste base. For the BJP, it is a tall ask. Well, that's true. Uh, now you know that uh, uh, they've also fielded uh, Ashok and uh, 
Somanna in Old Mysore region as well. So they also want to make this social engineering that it's not just the Vokaligas vote, they need also the Lingayats in southern Karnataka. You have a large number of population of Lingayats in Mysore region as well, but dominant co community is here is the Vokaliga community, which, ha which gives the decisive swing of votes in all uh, districts here, Ramnagar district, Mandya district and as well as Mysore district. If one uh, party has to take enough number of seats, they need the support of the Vokaliga community uh, in the old Mysore region and hence they have also given equal number of uh, seats or uh, tickets to the Vokaliga community. Remember they had also made Ashwat Narayan, the former uh, deputy CM, to the, as the deputy CM to make sure that they consolidate the Vokaliga votes as well. Uh, keeping the 2023 polls in mind, they had worked for the last 15 months. They had put out prominent netas as in charges in the districts here. Ashwat Naran himself was in charge of Ramnagar district where DK Shukumar and Kumar Swami contest. So these were the strategic moves that they had done in the last 15 months to make sure that the Vokaligas are also consolidated because the party already has Lingayats and the Dalits as their vote bank. Now the uh, big vacuum was the Vokaliga community. If they support at least 10 seats is what they are feeling that they can get in Mandya, Mysore and Ramnagar district.